we just got back from going out into the community, handing out a bunch of, you know, socks and shoes for less fortunate people. Like you said, the people who, who have to walk the most. So uh, I feel like the first question really is like, why socks and shoes? Like what started this? Um, it really started for me. I love socks, I'm a sock collector. Mm -hmm. And I have a big family. And so it's easy to do hand-me-downs. One time I'll have a, a full bin or bag with just socks. So, and then how it started, in my community where I'm from, Fresno, California, um, it's a lot of homeless, a lot of uh, halfway houses, a lot of people walking on the streets that don't know how to, don't have nowhere to sleep at night. And so, you can see ones where they have no shoestring, with a tongue hanging out the front of the shoe, where half the shoe talking, but they, they're still walking. That ain't stopping nothing. So I feel instead of giving jackets, coats, the most important is their feet, because they're on their feet more times than not, way more times than we are. Through the rain, the cold, the hot, they walking. That's their only ways of transportation. So giving them new tires. You know what I'm saying? Right, that's that's a good way to put it. them up. It's an easy way for them to not get as sick as they may because their feet warm. So, you know, just covering, um, I feel, one of the most important parts of it. And I, I mean, I can't really give them all the money to take it away, but I can ease the pain, so to speak. Right, and I, and I mean, in, in a lot of respects, like, that's the lowest hanging fruit is something that, you know, it's not extremely difficult to, to find an extra pair of socks. I know both of us found some socks that probably we might have even wore in the summertime and now it's... And haven't worn, and haven't worn them again since, right. you know, because we're going to get some new socks. We want them on our feet. And how we feel when we put on new socks, that's how I want them to feel. Maybe they might not be new, but they're a different pair. They're not wet. They're not old. Right. They're not sticky. No they're holes not hard. In them. They don't stink exactly. No holes in them. So, you know, I feel that would be a direct more direct than so giving them some money right you know what I'm saying they can keep them socks for the next six months right you know shoes and if it's boots for the next few years right so I feel that they're definitely gonna get some good use out of that kind of stuff exactly so um you said that you know this really started back in California originally so um being in that being that now you're in Hamilton in Canada it's a little bit different climate like do you think that that really is what sparked this idea or was this something you were gonna do regardless um you spent some time in Winnipeg no yeah it's yeah, cold out there yeah, yeah and see I this is my first time doing it in Canada right but because this is my first time I actually stand for the off season right and like you said the climate it's a big difference you right. have to beat 180 <laughs> right so I feel it's, it's demanded. Right. Demanded. I don't see how people survive just living up here. Right. Let alone yeah. not having places to stay or even to cover up. So right. I know for a fact if you got to walk on snow every day, you can't do it with flats. Right. I've tried. Right. Right. <laughs> it don't, it don't came feel up here too a little good. unprepared. Maybe you forgot a jacket or something. You realize. Exactly. Geez. Exactly. So right. if you can get you some industrial socks right. and some boots. Right. I, I know you feel that difference. Right. I, I know it helps. Right. And then not not only the um, the boots, but there was some other things too. We got a lot of donations. Maybe initially it started out as something smaller, but the response was, was pretty big, would you say? Yeah. Actually, because it started off with just maybe help from teammates, a couple of friends. I didn't know how really big it was going to get. Um, shout out to Diana. Definitely, definitely put the ball in there and let the wheels roll in. She got a tremendous backing, and right. I know that yeah, it's a lot of lives would be helped with this winter season. As a public figure, especially as an athlete, a lot of things that you do spark up conversation. I mean, if you get a big pick six, you run that back, people are going to be talking about that the next day. You know, when, when you go to practice, people are in the stands, they come see you, you give them an autograph, that's, that's a memory that's going to, you know, last a long time. What kind of memories are you trying to build with this project? What kind of conversation are you trying to start? And really, what, what kind of wave is this that you're trying to perpetuate through the community? To be honest, I don't even, I wasn't even looking for a conversation. 
to me, I just do this because it feel good. Right. To be honest, um, I, my family's are givers. I feel, and I'm the I'm one of the oldest. Right. So it's just, I feel it's, it makes me feel good to give, to help, like you said, coaching, to make that difference. So I don't know. Outside of us, I wouldn't even care. I'm gonna do it next year. Right. I know. I know now. I know I have a team, so it'll be better, but. So to see this many people get behind you and support this kind of movement, how do you feel like now you could take this to the next level maybe or even inspire somebody else to, you know, in their own community, in their own way, maybe at their own school, at their workplace, at their church, whatever it may be that they're a part of? How, how do you think that this may inspire somebody else to, you know, pick up and say, I can make a difference in my community, small or great, but I can, I can make a difference? It's all about change. It don't matter how significant or how significant someone else may think it is or you may think it is. Um, and we had the guy who he gave a bag with three shoes. He gave his back with two pairs in them. He got the idea already. Right. You know I mean, he's bigger than us. So the more we can help, I mean, the more positive we spread. You know what I'm saying? That's part of lightweight changing the world, so to speak. But... Um, that's me. I'm all about the positive aspect. Definitely. Um, to definitely and, get behind that. And just bringing positivity into your own community, whether it's just coming out and just being outside for an hour with people you don't know. It's just that's it's more good than bad, and that's what we need right now. And right. That's where I come from, where it's way more bad than good. So I'm trying to be that flower grow from concrete. So, like you said, you can see yourself doing this again in the future. Is this something we could probably look forward to and maybe a spin off of this? Like, I think this is a I think this is great for the community. The response was awesome. I personally want to be involved again, you know, maybe even take on a bigger role next time, but is this something we could look forward to in the future? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely, especially now that Mind you, before now, all the stuff I did at home, it was all by myself, my own car. I'm out the window just handing it. Right. So now that I actually have a team right. that feels the same way and is pushing in the same direction. Around like-minded people. Oh, yeah. We can we can take this how, little, how long as we want, how many pages we want. Right. Because like you said, you can look in your drawer and find about 10 pairs of socks that you ain't wore in the last month. Right. You can donate those. So that's, that's all to start. Right. And there you go. Those people are going to take that lesson. They're going to pass it on. And maybe, you know, one day they'll be in a position to pay it forward also. And that's, and that's the whole thing about it, man. Right. That's it. that's it, man. Well, hey, appreciate what you're doing. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there. If they could, they would send you a huge thank you. So on behalf of them, I'm going to tell you thank you. And I can't wait for this to happen again so we can help more people and just keep this whole cycle going, man. Thanks who participated. Thanks for the help. Um, for those I've touched, um, I want to say it's a blessing to be able to do this and uh, see you next year.